Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing as the Union of Socialist American States. So I have some bad news for you guys. Um, apparently, I tried to record a session earlier, but it didn't exactly go, or it just stopped recording for some reason. <clears throat> I had about two minutes of footage, and I didn't realize it wasn't recording, so basically, I played for about 35 minutes without you guys watching basically anyways uh during that time i capitulated the transamir people people in transamir here uh obviously there's still some people that we got to get rid of up here it's unfortunate that my recording software obs decided to say nah now nah, we're done today so really unfortunate I'm gonna tell you guys that uh yeah but i mean really not much else really happened i mean you know I capitulated the Transamir people. The Fangshin government also capitulated. Uh, I did help the Repu People's Republic of Vietnam take out the Kingdom of Siam. And yeah, the Soviet Union is looking kind of big. A little big. Little spots here and there that the Soviet Union owns. And I also invaded North Africa. Now, obviously, the Commune of Morocco has come back. We do retain quite a bit of control in North Africa proper, which is great. So, honestly, I guess you guys did miss some. Uh, I did move my submarines into the Mediterranean to help sink some enemy ships. But regardless, I hope to God that this is actually recording. So that, yeah, we can actually do a good job. And finish up North, finish up Africa. Also, we've been, I've been also bombing the hell out of Mashriq. Because, well, honestly, they need to be bombed. And uh, I need to help my allies make sure that they actually win around here. Arabia, split that in half. Um, get, mm, I need to move these guys somewhere else. It's really nowhere good for me to move them, though. Come here. That'll be okay. You guys are doing alright. What do we sunk this time? We have sunk. Well, we lost two allied ships in exchange for four enemy ships. So that's not bad. It's not bad. So. Yep, yep, yep. Pretty good. I do want to invade North Africa so we can get to the other side of Mashriq eventually. So that... They capitulate, because that's the last faction we need to capitulate, I believe, the last country, because they're a great power for some reason. Yeah, for the co-prosperity sphere. Then we will take out, finish off the Kingdom of France. I've been nuking the Irish quite a bit. They still have a little bit of manpower left, but I have been nuking them. Uh, I'm sorry, Ireland, but whatever. I have my orders. I did tell some of my soldiers, who I did send to Africa, from Asia to France to come here to the UK, or I mean, the Union of Britain, I mean, and going to help invade Ireland. So, that's my plan. Uh, the armies up here, we are ready to go to war with. I did justify on the Sino Coalition over here. Up next, and we have our justification until April 30th. So, we got to finish these guys up here, and then take out the Sino Coalition. Oliver Law, do you have anybody, any upgrades? No, that's okay. Come on, guys, you got this. Where are you guys? Some of you are here, some of you are not. George H. Ken is doing a great, great job. Super, super great. The Kingdom of France is falling quite quickly. And I've pretty much gotten tired of looking at the free dockyards button, so... Whatever. Ooh. Nice, five Irish convoys have been sunk. And our allies invaded... Revolutionary Colombia invaded Ireland, but they're gonna die. Typical. All right, are you guys done killing these guys off or what? They're not even moving. Okay then, I will tell you to forcibly tell you to move some way, somewhere. Yeah, some of you guys are doing okay. You guys move up that way, and try to take those guys out if you can. Nice. Take them out. Take them out as well. They're gonna starve and die up there anyways, because we only have until some. T some later time until we can invade the Chinese. Better do this as fast as possible. Honestly, uh, just defeat the enemies, take their spots, and then immediately move south. Just because it's going to take some time for our soldiers to move through Asia. Asia isn't a small place. And the game is kind of laggy, but that shouldn't really impact too much. Alright, North Africa. Ooh! Seven enemy destroyers followed up with two more enemy destroyers. Great! Doing a great, great job. Obviously, the Kingdom of France doesn't have enough manpower anymore. 
to really do anything, or maybe even equipment levels, because their manpower is what? Their manpower levels are currently at about 10,000 men. Ooh. Oh, I'm yawning here. Ooh. Over here, we're doing pretty well. George H. Cannon, you've done a great job. You've got so much experience. You're level 7 general. And he can have up to 30 divisions within his army group, which is great. Come on, guys. Finish this area up. No one wants to even live up here. There's only 237,000 people in this huge block. Up here, there's 177,000. Nice. They just keep putting soldiers in there, but they just keep going bye-bye. Very good. Also, I have a 789 factories, but a lot of those are going to go away eventually because I have let everything to occupy territories to gentle occupation. That's really what I wanted, gentle occupation. And yeah, just going to keep it like that for now. Good, that spot's been taken. Those guys were taken out. Come on, just how much longer? Come on, guys. Take these fellas out. Oh, look at this. Tunis is some of the last spots here. Great. So, a few divisions. Steward divisions are attacking 12. Now three are attacking 6, 7. Okay, they died. Or oh, they, they lost the battle. Either way, they're going to die in the end, so it doesn't really matter. Ah, very good. Very, very good. The Kingdom of France is going to fall super soon. Their defeat is inevitable. Awesome. Tunis is, la is left. Oh my gosh, guys. How much longer will it take for you to just take these territories? Oh, there they go. Nice. Kingdom of France. Oh, now I want to let you know that currently I do not have player-led peace conferences on. So we're going to see one hell of a mess. If anything i don't care about north africa i guess i'll take triple Atania just because that'll make us get closer to egypt um yeah frankly i really don't care like legit i just really don't care uh i'll take whatever i can i suppose oh i can't take that god dang it okay no one else took that oh this is going to be so disgusting oh my goodness just take this then um, oof, I don't want to take this to make it look really bad. I really don't. So, Kingdom of France. I don't want to liberate these other states. Hmm. That takes, can I, how much can I take? I know a lot of these places suck. Oh, this is disgusting. Chad, I guess I'll take Chad. Oops. Oh, oh. I guess I'll take the car. I'll take worthless territory. Love it. Yeah. To oh. Can I take something else? No. Oh, my goodness. This is disgusting. Oh, why? Why are you doing this to me? Why can't I use player led peace conferences? Oh, my goodness. Well, at least that war, that battle is over. It was just between me and the commune of France taking states, which actually wasn't too bad, I suppose. I mean, it could have been much worse, but, you know, whatever. Uh, let's see. George H. Cannon, you have done a fantastic freaking job, but it looks like the Commune of France is probably liberating someone right now. Go ahead and come up here, and we gotta take out Sudan and Egypt, but really my goal is Mashriq to capitulate the Japanese Empire. Ooh, actually, Commune of France, that's not bad. You liberated the Tunisian syndicalist government. Alright, an undistinguished suit under Mustafa al Hijazi. Oh my gosh. Return Liberian lands. Um, Liberia, they're free Liberia, so we like them. They're totalists, so we really like them. They're within our same faction, and you know what? So be it. Uh, we want to keep it all. Uh, the American government has been discussing what to do with Liberian lands that we currently occupy, land which we have no rightful claim to. Should we return this land to them? Uh, sure. Okay, they got Sierra Leone. Now that's a thicker Liberia. I like. I kind of like that, actually. Oh my goodness. Look at all this. Oh no. Uh, actually, I'm going to release Libya. Because I think that would actually be pretty good. Let's liberate Libya. 
But all these F extra African states, oh my goodness. A little bit of lag, Tripoli is now in our hands. I mean, this is the second time in American history that we've actually had to invade Tripoli. We teach them a lesson. Unfortunately, it is a little laggy. But I think that the Kingdom of France is doing something else perhaps as well, maybe? Let's see what happens. Ah, Algeria's there. Actually, that's not bad. That actually looks kind of nice. Algeria is led by Mufasa al-Najdi. Are you related to Mufasa al-Hijazi? Huh. Not good manpower. Not good manpower. Hey, they're African. Alright. Um, sure, you might as well do this. Burkina Faso. Uh, the ancient land of the Mosi, <clears throat> excuse me, have come to con our control and are now part of our country. Often divided and badly regarded by the colonial authorities, the Mosi people are now pleading with us for the possibility to create an independent state of their own with the influential Mogho Naba at the head of the movement. Should we let them organize themselves to an extent? Screw it, why not? At least we, they're all our puppets. Yay, and we'll do the same thing for Guinea. Former French colony of Guinea. Just do it, why not? Mali, Niger, Senegambia, and Wadai. I, I, I really don't care. Yeah, you can have the desert. The French Sudan and Malian desert, whatever. State of Niger, Niger, and Niger desert. Senegambia. Whatever. I, I really don't care. Wadai. Sure. Ah, look at the lag. Guianian state, Guinean state, Malian commune, Niger. Uh, actually, does Niger have claims on this part of the commune of France? Oh, there's... Hey, this is a Mauritanian desert. Mauritania. Don't they still practice slavery there? I think they do. Anyways, um, Malian commune has cores on this. Taragian state... Tarag State, Tarag State, Niger. Uh, is that really the size of Ni Niger? Huh. I mean, we have Chad here. Oh, and I do need to send supplies down here, because these guys are probably going to capitulate now. The Tubu Commune. But, uh, I guess no one else has claims on each other's land, which is kind of surprising. I mean, you think of Africa, and you think of just people wanting to kill each other to take each other's land. But then again, that sounds like all of human history. So. Alright, our soldiers are actually already on the line. Nice. Good job, guys. Well, at least Africa is now situated. The Union of Tripolitania. Ah, yes. You can barely see his face. He looks like a male nun. Ah, Mr. Nani Abu Meniar. He's actually got his own history. Jesus. That's freaking awesome. Oh, he's got so many... Mastery of the Desert Warfare. Not a lot of manpower. 14,000 men for, um... Scraping the barrel. Ottoman, a Ottoman aid. What? Loyalty of the tribes assured. Agricultural advances. Alright. Well, you know, do you do you. And I'll continue to build nuclear reactors. Just do that. It looks like... Our allies want to con... Oh, actually, before I do anything else. Mozambique has capitulated, alright. Uh, yeah, I definitely need us up here to get down here immediately to go ahead and go to war with the Sino Coalition. Well, yep, looks like I'm going to do this individually. And you guys do it from there. We have until April 30th to declare war, so that should be a pretty good amount of time for our soldiers to actually get down there. Looks like our guys are attacking about 9 divisions using 25. And that will cut off coup 8, which isn't bad. Um, I'm kind of surprised we're still at war with Egypt. Egypt, you have quite a bit of manpower, actually. Only on extensive conscription? That's pretty good. Their illiterate populace isn't super good, though. Followed with developing economy. Modernized agriculture is pretty good. Desert training is pretty good. Egyptian general staff is pretty good. Medje is okay, not bad. And Egyptian Merchant Marine, not bad either. Cool. Anti-air upgrades, great. So now we can have anti-air levels 3. And 40mm. Also, I forgot to mention, I am training a couple of soldiers here. A couple of things in the water. So. I want everyone to merge and just, just train. 
because I need more naval XP since we're upgrading a lot of things. And we're joined here by my cat named Binky. Cool. Um, for you all, be careful. I know the infrastructure here is pretty doo-doo, but it's what we got. Oh, uh, god dang, I didn't build any radar here either. God dang it. Uh, build some of this as well. If I can't, I will actually build up... Uh, actually, that's probably a waste in Niger Desert. Who actually lives here? Wow, that's a lot of people. 168,000? A lot more than I thought, but that's okay. We can only get 0.69 political power a day. That's okay. Uh, how are the battles running? They're attacking us. The Yemeni soldiers are attacking us. No, that's Egypt. Oh, that's Egypt. Egypt is attacking us. The Tobu communists capitulated, like I said they would. Sudan is trying to come in through here, but I'm not even defending, so that's okay. Sudan will die eventually anyways. Uh, subs, move on over to here. That should be okay. And at this point, I'm thinking, thinking this. You guys have done a great job. You really have. Take that off. Go repair. But actually, you know what? I should have told them. Come to Laggy Station, Laggy Station. No, come to Brittany. Come to Brittany, everyone, and then do that. Uh, yeah, come there. Nice. Our attacks aren't going so great. Kind of figured that would happen. But we're defending pretty well. So go ahead and not attack. Be careful about what you're doing. It's only April 12th. Casualties. Let's see. Ooh, Sudan suffered none. They got 22 factories. Egypt has suffered 58,000. We got about 40-ish factories. Not bad. Not bad. It looks like I'm probably going to, have to invade this area somehow, some way, because the supply situation is just going to be absolutely atrocious. Public recognition of the government in exile. We got construction engineering. We got some British aid. Love it, love it, love it. Soldiers aren't even close to really being down here. And we're bombing somebody. We're bombing an Egyptian cruiser. Cool. Followed up with another Egyptian cruiser. Cool. What if I told you both to do this? They have 18 divisions over here. Wow. Alright, well, we'll see what happens. Ooh, we sunk the cruiser. Nice. Honestly, it would really help if we had air power, so don't attack. Just kind of stay here. I will probably move my divisions away here, though. Just because it looks like the attrition's really bad, and we need divisions down here, too. So, yeah, you know what? I'm not doing that first, though. You guys can come down here. Oh, baby, this lag. Lag me, daddy. Oof. Come down through this way, if you can. Edward, A. Carter, even though you're a panzer expert. So, these guys, you're just going to stay here. You're not going to move up. Hopefully, our allies will not kill all the supply. Coming in, coming out, and all sorts of good stuff like that. I uh, thought I told you to do that. Get another air base, just in case. Get a couple more ports coming through here. Alright, it's April 21st. Are our soldiers even remotely close? Wow, our tanks got really destroyed in whatever they were doing. Holy smokerinos. We really need a lot more modern tanks. That's alright. A war with a sound of coalition probably isn't the worst thing. So, a little bit of manpower, not a bunch, quite a few divisions, and for these guys, they have a little bit more, of course, because they're a little bigger, paternal autocrats, and you're a national populace, fairly similar. Ah, uh, gotta love coffee. Hopefully we can at least do a good job defending against the Chinese, those Chinese people, because um, I'm obviously not going to be able to attack for quite a while. Hey, look, did you see that? We got two nukes. We almost have three, so that means it's time to go to war with, uh, or nuke Ireland. Yeah, that's how it works, right? Exactly. Oh, wait, it's you guys that are over here. Um, come up to Scotland. You come over to Cardiff. Oh, some of our ships are already over here. Nice. Uh, let's see, for you, give me two divisions at a time. You're going to invade Cork. 
You will also come from Cardiff to invade Waterford. Two Revolutionary Ohio Guard divisions are doing that. And you're going to come over here. So those six guys will do that. So six divisions. Uh, we'll come from Liverpool. Never really knew where Liverpool was. You'll come here. I am going to save my nukes for when I do actually attack, so. Good. Good. Headhunters. Uh, I guess you're coming up here, too. Why not? You come over here. Up here. And then do that area as well. Very nice. Good, 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 good. All right, so we're suffering a little bit of attrition. I wonder if we can attack now. I mean, they have a lot of divisions there. They have 17. But we are attacking with 17 as well, and we can pierce their armor or whatnot. Or their mechanized, motorized, whatever they have. Before our allies come in and destroy the supply situation. God dang it, you pieces of the garbage. Why are you destroying my supply? Oh, the number's going back up. And now it's going back down. It's kind of stationary. They have 15 divisions there now. All right. Obviously, our guy is a little bit more experienced at level 7 compared to level 4. But that's okay. Come on. Egypt, you got to lose this manpower. Oh, oh wow. 143,000 or to between that and 182,000. They've lost quite a few guys. We've killed off around 100,000 Egyptians already. Oh, oh, yeah, we definitely won this battle. Um, Take half and stop telling them to do stuff. That's fine, that's fine. There's four divisions defending now. Looks like our allies took coup eight, which is great, great, great. Oh, shoot, I missed the day. God dang it. Um, That's all right. It, it really won't take that long to go ahead and bait again. Give their guys more time to dig in. Stuff like that. No problem. Besides, we really are going to focus on the Irish. And then once we're done with the Irish and Middle East, of course, we'll take out the Senate Coalition. But then we will have to go to war with the Australasian Confederation. So I wish I didn't miss the day that I wanted to go to war with the Asians, the Chinese. But so be it. The Australasian Confederation is on scraping the barrel. They have almost no manpower. A couple convoys, a couple planes. Industry's okay. Divisions aren't great. Ooh. We lost some allied ships, but whatever. Those are Soviet ships. But they have about up to 80 ships, which isn't too bad. Nice. Uh, obviously, it looks like Ireland has quite a few divisions divisions defending their homeland. But considering their manpower and probably equipment levels, I'm definitely going to be nuking the hell out of them just to make sure I can actually get a foothold into Ireland like what I did with North Africa against the Kingdom of France. So I'll put one nuke towards Belfast, I'll put one nuke towards Dublin, and one towards Cork as well. Ooh. Alright, that's kind of actually a pretty fair trade. Uh, looks like our allies tried to in have invaded, but they're not going to do so well over here. Can I nuke this area? Oh, uh, if I nuke it, they might just win. I don't mind trying that. Oh, we actually got this area too. Nice. Uh, take half of you guys, take U7, and attack this way. Nice. There are 20... Oh, God. 28 divisions defending. Wow. Uh, it looks like we do have some of our airplanes here helping out already. Split you in half. Give me a couple more... Tactical bombers. And you're only going to do this. Nice. Very nice. Oh, our actually, actually our divisions already made it down here. Nice. Great. Against Sudan. What's the manpower of Sudan? Oh, this is Niger. This is our ally. Uh, but Sudan has 102,000. That's actually pretty good. They have a lot of babies in Africa. Uh, attack on core defensive territory. They're attacking us. I don't want you to be radical, but attack when you are really ready. Um, they have five divisions attacking. Obviously, we have air superiority. We're dug in. Yeah, that wasn't going to work very well for them. If you can attack, just put those Africans out of their misery. I mean, if you don't kill them now, they're just going to suffer from things like probably malnutrition, starvation, malaria, Ebola, you know, whatever. Any sort of buzzwords you can, news buzzwords you can throw in there. Ah, cool. Better anti-air. And then even better anti-air. Nice. 
Ooh, George H. Cannon, do you have something new? No, you don't. God dang it. Okay. Oh, this looks like... Look how many divisions our allies have sent. 71, 76, 76, 63, 30, 72, 91, 69. Nice. Uh, 62, 120. Guys, guys. The infrastructure just can't take it. Come on, man. I mean, Mishrika is pretty close to capitulating anyways. They're 87%. All you really need is like another town in Amman or something. Oh, my goodness. Now, I want to take... Uh, can you actually come down here? Oh, you can. Cool. Keep beating up that Egyptian military. Because everyone likes to beat up the Egyptians, right? That's right, Bink. Awesome. I'll we'll take the Egyptian. The Egyptians have no ships. They have a little bit of manpower left. But, um... Not a lot. Actually, keep half of you guys here as well. Uh, you, you don't really need to move. Nice! And they're going to attack us back. A counterattack from the territory that we've just taken from them. Ah, love it. Now, this is going to be one hell of a slog for us trying to invade the rest of Egypt. Because we don't have infrastructure around there. Um, our soldiers are pretty good to go at this point. Actually, for the tanks, you guys are really beating the hell up. Uh, do I attack through the mountains or attack through the mountains? I think I'm going to attack through the mountains using tanks. You never do that, kids. Never do that. But that's okay. We'll do that. The infrastructure here should be so bad that I can't actually use tanks. Oh, never mind. It's level 2. It's level 3. Oh my god, China. Come on. Fix your infrastructure, man. Public recognition of the Filipino state in exile. Well, I would argue that the Philippines is pretty reunited at this point. But, you know, that's just my simple opinion, which I'm allowed to give. Uh, for us, since we're not moving, we can attack again. So, you know what? Nothing says America like... Invading the Middle East or North Africa. What's that? We, we're in Libya. We took out the leader of Libya because we think it'll make it better. Oh no, we have more problems. Oh, talk about geopolitical uh, happenings that happened a couple within the last ten decades. The last ten decades? Last decade? Last couple years? Oh, anyways, uh, that's probably enough of that. Cool. Stability for the people. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. Good jubble, jubble, jubble. Since they attack us, we're going to attack them right back and send a few divisions from this side to attack them down. Yeah, we are really wearing out the Egyptian military now. Oh, yeah, look at those casualties. We have four nukes, which is great. Let's see, Mashriq. Egypt has suffered a quarter million casualties. Great, great, great. If you guys can, just be careful. That's all I ask. Just be careful. No worries. Well, maybe a lot of worries, but just be careful. That's really what I'm focused here on. Despite the lag. Alright. Our ships should be here by now. Or at least pretty close. Oh, that's a lot of ships. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Come to here. Actually, that's all you really need. Patrol. Actually, no, don't do patrol. God. Where are you going? There you go. Do naval invasion support. Everyone's going to do naval invasion support. How many ships does Ireland actually have? None! So, naval invasion support will be great. Let's go ahead and invade Ireland to end this episode. Uh, I'm going to begin with us nuking several different areas. So, we'll nuke that. We'll nuke Dublin. We'll nuke Cork. And then, actually, I'm going to do Dublin twice. Just probably... Be, eh, that's 11. This is more than 11. Yes, do Dublin twice just because it's the capital. Ireland is nowhere close to capitulating. So, they suffered over half a million casualties. Oh. It would help if I actually told my guys to go. Yeah, there you go. Ah! Ireland! Love it! This time of year, I've heard it's a great time to get a tan. Advanced cruiser. Pyramid superstructure. Ooh! That means... Pyramid super, or superstructure means more anti-air. Wow, plus 75%. Low less HP. Production cost is 750. It looks like torpedoes. And radar. I love descriptions. Uh, are we... We are the ones invading. I don't know if there was some of our allies doing that yet or not. Uh, looks like... Who's this? Argentine commune invaded Cork. Alright then. Ah, we have landed. We have landed in several different areas. Take out Belfast if you can. Take out Dublin if you can. Oh, I need to probably have... Should have nuked these guys a little harder. Uh, that's okay. 
Um, actually, if I can link up with taking out Dublin, that would actually... Oh, we took Dublin. Great. Uh, hold both of you. Actually, take one of you. Come this way. And actually, before we do anything else, just get rid of all your orders. I want you six to do that. I want you... You're doing a great job. Don't want to mess you up, even though I already messed everyone else up. Do that. Take one each so you can merge over there. You guys have to help out take out Quark, if at all possible. Help take out Quark, yeah. That's really a good goal for us to do. Ah, we took Quark. Belfast, Belfast might be a problem. This area up here is going to be definitely a problem. One long united front is what we could really use. Uh, you still stay there. Nice. Nice, we took Belfast. We'll attack here next, perhaps. Our, the only guys who didn't make it were these guys. And they weren't even attacking a port. Go figure. If they take that spot, I don't really care. Ooh, presidential election of 1949. It is here and with much fanfare. As expected, Earl Browder is in the lead, but as the government has promised a fair and open election, it is anyone's guess as to who will win after the debates and all the campaigning is done. Who will emerge victorious? Hmm, I'm thinking that Earl Browder will probably win again. I mean, the Trade Union Unity League is just so good. I just, I just have a good feeling that they're going to win. But, you know, I could be wrong. I could definitely be wrong about that. Take you three, add you up here, and get, where are you guys at? Two, three, four, five, just uh, actually be added immediately to here or something, and then you guys be added up to here or something. Hey, where are you guys going? Oh, okay, you're going south. All right, well, whatever. Obviously, that infantry division could not take the enemies out, and I should have stopped them before, but that's okay. Um, I just want this to be united, so we'll probably finish off Ireland in the next video. For right now, let's go ahead and do some patrolling, which really won't matter. Actually, uh, yeah, keep it for now since we're still at war with Ireland. Next time, actually, you know what? Just, just end their miserable existence. Um, next time we will finish. Irish off, we will go to war with the Chinese, and we will begin plotting a course for the Australasian Confederation. You should be able to win this one out with a lot of extra support. Nice. Very good. The Irish have lost about a million... Oh, they're about to capitulate too. Cool! So, with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new here. And I will see you tomorrow either on BitChute or YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys.